Okay, tubers. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. All right. Now, I've seen a couple on YouTube and uh, they're a bit boring because obviously it's night time. Now, what I thought of doing is obviously it's quite a dangerous thing riding at night. And there's, um, I just thought I might give you a few little handy hints. So, Cornish Rob's handy hints at night time riding. Obviously, we're on the K. And I've just finished my 12 hour shift. So, let's go home. Now, obviously, can't see shit because it's dark. Now, I just thought I'd do this as long as it's not bloody rain. Story of my life doing YouTube videos. Ah, oh, is it raining? Ah, oh, maybe. So, things to look out for and your helpers. Okay, one of the most important helper you've got is this white line. Obviously, I'm on the other side of it because someone might open a door and I might not see it. And I've got nothing coming up. Now, look at your view. Look at your view of how many white lines you've got. Two? If that? I might actually just pull over and we'll actually measure and see how many white lines I have before it's night time. Pardon me. Let's have a look. So. Maybe two, if you're lucky. So you've got two white lines that you're going to see. 25, 30 foot. Not very good, is it, really? 30 foot is not, not something you want. So let's put main beam on, which is uh, a bit better, but it still doesn't really give you good vision. And I've just replaced one of these bulbs for a, a new one that's a bit shinier. But shinier or shitier could be either or so there's your first thing that I'm looking out for today you've got a quarry on the right hand side so look at this muck on the road yeah so I'm trying not to go on the center of the road because for obvious reasons that's where the muck is now I'm looking for this junction yeah that's where I'm looking I'm looking for this corner curb on the junction yeah I'm also looking for bricks and gravel animals squashed animals i nearly come off because a badger was cutting off once riding in um actually it's daylight but i was riding too close to the truck in front and i come through and there's a badger cutting off one half on one side and one half of mr badger on the other obviously he was clearly dead a two-part badger so we're going to join this motorway now there is a car there. You can't tell whether that car's on the, on the left side or the right side. There's no, no way of knowing. All right, now, some people ride with a main beam on all the time. Some people don't. It's very tempted. I'm already looking at that car up there that's got his indicator flashing and a light on his roof. So that's how far I'm trying to anticipate. I'm gonna have to open that because I'm misting up because it's so cold. Now, it's pretty good when you're on a road like this because you've got the white lines to look at and obviously a bit of local knowledge. I know this road really well. I know where the manholes are. I know where everything is. But still doesn't mean I know where a dead badger or something might be. Now, let's see if I can get that to quieten down. And lick my dead cat and make sure you're still there and you can hear me. Yep, still recording. So don't be tempted to sneak up behind a car and follow him as you can see look I'm only doing 60 miles an hour nothing wrong with 60 miles an hour okay my my type of riding is different anyway because if somebody gets behind me with bright lights on what am I gonna do so if someone's behind me I've got their lights in my wing mirrors I can't see what am I gonna do well it's obvious what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slip my indicator on I'm going to pull over and there you go, I'm off main beam. How shite is that? I'm going to pull over and I'm going to let the car go past. Now not only am I dealing with shit vision, I've also got the reflective beam hitting my visor. So when you've got rain and it's hitting your visor when you've got headlights it's a nightmare even now it's dry and I'm still getting this dazzle so you need to keep your visor nice and clean 
okay there's a bike already but a bike there's a car behind me so I'm just being wary of him oh lovely heated seat now as you can see look there's obviously a tanker or something ahead of me so I'm already thinking about will I need to overtake that one and as I'm riding my my eyes are looking for the white line on the left and the broken white line that's where my eyes are looking yeah so I'm taking a gander in my mirrors and I'm also thinking about that tanker up ahead okay here I might try and chuck on my main beam again now there's a few things that you can't help you're not going to be able to help the conditions that you're riding in okay you can keep your visor clean but you can't control the conditions the weather the mud on the road the grit of course this time of year they're gritting the roads so always keep your bike in tip-top condition yeah tire pressures up all right always think about where you're riding in your positioning and use your signs I know that that sign means that I've got a slip so I might have cars jumping out on my right okay you just drop your speed down you know I've, I've crept up did you see that I was doing 70 then drop it back down to 60 there's that tanker in front of me all right think about what's going on behind us because we may have to overtake him don't be tempted to sit behind him okay I, I must admit I have done that on really bad days when we've had storms and it's really bad and I can't see I have tucked myself in this sort of distance behind a, behind a big lorry and just sat there because it's been so bad and especially because I've had to have my visor open because the rain has been so bad and again these things you can't change if you're an actual rider and to be honest ride your bike the only way you're going to learn is to ride your bike get out there in that bad weather don't just stick to the dry days and the posh posh taking your bike out going posh meets and stuff ride it you all you've always seen you've all seen my miles that i do and what bikes i do it on okay now i know we've got a big junction here we've got a speed camera we just went past but it's a horrific junction loads of people have died on this junction it's a nightmare still got mr tanker in front of me all right so i'm thinking about my tanker all right now this is no way to speed up and overtake him so what's the point what's the point guys never play catch up doesn't matter does it what does it matter if i'm stuck behind him all the way except he is a tanker and there's a lot of energy stored in that tanker so you don't really want to be near a tanker so even now i'm looking behind me I'm going to whack off my main beam even though no one's flashed me because my lights, bike lights are so shit. I'm still looking at that centre line even though the centre line looks like it's on the left hand side of that truck as we came around there. Okay, I know I've got an entrance for Castle Air, look. There you go, there's the arrow. So I could have had something coming up there. Now, am I going to make it or am I not? I'm not really fussed if I do. He's clocking on a bit though. He must be empty. Because the junction's coming here. The motorway's ending. Dual carriageway's ending. So do I risk it? Don't know really. Can't be bothered. So here you go look. I'm not going to bother it. It's night time. This guy's lit up the road. I'm just going to ease the seat off because my butt bits are getting a bit sweaty. The old sweaty Betty because of the heat. So... I'm not too sure how you can see and what you're going to be able to see. All right, probably less than what I can. So, it's basically, you've got to learn. Get yourself out there in the dark. Go and do some short runs, yeah? Have all your kit on in case you do have a tumble. Do your short runs, yeah? Go on the roads that you know and where you've memorized all your manholes and where you've got runoff on the roads where the gravel are it's a beautiful night okay you see me i'm still i'm still following that truck he's got a limiter on of 60 we're in a 50 now okay we've got slip roads happening left and right 
and you could still find a brick or a piece of wood in the road. Okay? Oh, my seat is so warm. I got a warm seat. So, keep those eyes, and when you've got, the, so you see these cars coming, where are you looking? Where are you looking? Tell me. And I'll tell you where I'm looking, because I'm looking at a combination of peripheral vision on that centre line, but my main look is on that left when you've got a line. So here comes another one, so I'm looking at that left. For the split second when his lights are at the brightest, I'm looking at that left line. Again here look. So I'm looking at that left line, left line. Now I'm back in dues in the boat. But even though I'm looking at that left line, my peripheral vision is looking at the centre. But it's just to take that glare off me. And now we're coming up, slow down. Combination of the brakes, front brake off, rear brake on, change gear and away you go. Okay, you're watching these corners because you don't know if anything's been shed on it. He's going to pull to the centre for this bridge. Okay. So again, now there's a black dip. Big black dip there, look. I can't even see where the black dip is. So again, watch your black dip. Whoa, what was that? Did you see that? And that's how quick it happens. I don't even know what that was. It could have been a leaf. That's the problem with autumn times. Even though we're sort of middle of winter, you get leaves on the road. Oh, they look like bricks. They look like birds, rabbits. But even a dead rabbit will take you off. I hit a rat once with my GSXR 750 coming around the corner. I nearly binned it because the front wheel hit the rat and it sort of rolled for a few seconds. That was quite scary. Never gonna forget that. Spitfire corner in Nuki. And again, uh, I wonder if you can have a guess of what that was. I, I still couldn't tell you what that was. Only that it was something. Could have just been a bit of paper. But when you've got 30 foot visibility, there's not a lot you can tell. So again, there's nothing behind me. I've just moved to the right hand side of this lane. Just because I can see that line better. And now we're coming into our 40. So again, where I was looking then is the centre of the road. Okay, I'm looking at the centre of the road here. So when I started saying that, that's where I was looking on the brow. Okay? And again, I'm looking at the back of that lorry now. Inside line. Just looking at that inside yellow line because I know it's a good one. Now it's getting a bit shit, look. Alright, now I've got nothing. Left hand side looking at that curb. Back to the middle. Off that white line if I can. Because a white line will put you off. The white arrow. Okay, here's an interesting one, look. I had a manhole there, but I knew the manhole was there. And here we've got this sweeping bend. So here I can't see nothing. So I'm looking at that white line. It's going to turn into a double in a minute. So I'm back to the left line now. And up we go. Okay, I'm still looking at that left line as I come around the corner. Now I'm beginning to veer off and I'm looking in the centre. Now you might say, well, what if there's something in the middle of the road while you're looking towards that white line on the left? Well, this is it, isn't it? What if there was something in that middle of that road? You've got to be ready for it. And again here, we've got manholes coming up. All right. Bright light. I'm going to the centre because there's a manhole. There he is. There we go. Now I like to just tip my head down when they're bright like that. And again, I just tip, let the top of the helmet take out that light. Now here I'm looking at that inside double line because there's no left, no left hand line. So now I'm looking at that right hand line. We've got a big bend coming up. I've popped back to the left line now because the left line is there. Big bright light. Couldn't even see the right hand side of the line. Again, do I overtake and get past that tanker? No, uh, not really, can't bothered. And that's it. There's no point playing catch up and racing in the dark. There's no point. And I'm still not sitting and relying on those lights of that tanker. He might fall asleep. I tell you what, that's the least of our worry if he falls asleep. 
Okay, speed limit, blinded by the light. Okay, now I'm checking my speed. I know I won't break in the speed limit before because I was on the limiter. Speed camera to my left, 45, 40 miles an hour. Okay, I'm just going to edge off these white lines in the middle, these broken white lines. And there we go, car on the left. Did he see or was he just thinking about the tanker? Another one on the left. Still got his left indicator on, that doesn't mean anything though, he could just come out. Here again, I'm going to move over to the left to miss out these centre lines. We got a speed camera on the left coming up. Alright. And now I've got a double glare from behind. So I can lean forward a bit, that will take it out of me. Sign on the left says slippy. I think that, I don't know what that is, is it a new one? It's been there all day, so another one there, look. Now is that a new one for a new accident? So now I've got glare from those cars, glare from the car behind me. So I'm on that right brake, rear foot brake, and I'm just looking to the inside on that chevron, while still getting one eye on the centre of the road. So it's a combination of seconds in the centre, seconds on that centre line. And again here, I know the white line's good on the inside, so I'm going to be looking at that. Okay. Manhole there, let's see. Little patchwork. Sure my seat's off. Oh no, it wasn't off. There we go. And again here, we got a double white, so there's no point... A double lane, so no point following that one, so I'm going to try and stick to the left. Alright. Going to be blinded. There we go. So try and anticipate what your hazards are because you have to because you can't see them coming and again see where that tanker is now he's on my right but i'm getting glared at look how bright that inside line is now it disappears because there's a junction so now i'm back looking at the inside one the broken one not that left hand line now i'm back on the left now i'm on the center all right because now i can see i've got plenty of vision I can see, see both white lines. Okay, now I'm looking because I'm going to have to turn and follow that lorry. So it's all these little things, you know, that I've never really thought about. Okay? I've never really thought about, I've got a car coming up behind me, so he's going to be blinding me in a minute, and I've got one in front that blinding everyone. Alright, so again, I just tilted my helmet to take out that glare. Not a lot I can do about that one. And I'm not caring about catching that lorry because it's a 50 mile an hour speed limit. And if you look at my speed, what am I doing? Oh yeah, look, 50, and I haven't even looked at it. <laughs> so it also teaches you a lot about your bike. You, you know whether your bike's speeding or not without looking because you can't afford to look in the dark much. Uh. Pardon me, bit of hiccup. So now I've got some daylight well, some street lights. Alright, you're still going to get the glare though, look. Especially new cars' headlights, it's disgraceful how bright they are. So at least now you've got some vision. Okay, so now my riding's opened up a bit more. My view has opened up. It's looking more about the road. So he's going to turn. So I'm just going to get well out of his way nice and early. Well, not turn, but he's gone into that lay-by. All right, so I'm just going to go out to this lane. Then I, I don't have to worry about anything. And now I can slip back. And I'm looking in my right mirror there as I come around that corner and see what's going on. And now we're coming up to the junction. So now you can see. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? We can see. But then we get to around about pitch black. Although there are lights there, but it's pitch black. So that's good. Now remember, what have I said to you? petrol stations roundabouts yeah and this one's quite bad look, and it dips away just slightly here look so it dips away and then it comes back so what what did i do i slowed down yeah even though i ride that road all the time probably two or three times a week i ride that road and yet i just dropped it right down i don't know what i was doing 21 hours or something like that. ample ample speed and now i'm just cruising down I know my tunnel's coming up. Nothing behind me. But I'm not going to do more than 60, what's the point? I'm in top gear, what am I doing? 
55. No one else on the road. I've got no vision, I might flip on my main beam. But, if you notice, I'm wearing mittens. So it's not the easiest and quickest thing to do. Okay. And there we go. Now, it does say I'll shake your bike light time. If you could, if you could leave it on main beam, and no one flashes you, you like to ship. So, this kind of says it all. So now you're going to get a vision of what it's like to ride with lights. And again, man, I'll buff. Okay, now look what I'm riding with. This is why I'm having fun trying to um, turn my main beam off. Because I've got mittens on, which I have to because it's cold. Okay, so here I've got, I can see everything. There's manholes all the way up here. Sometimes I just go up, I do like a slalom around them, just for fun, just to break the boredom. Look, Whee! just to break the boredom, slalom around the manholes. Okay, because I can see them. All right, now you look how fast. What's going to happen? Remember, you've just been blinded by all that light. It's going to take a few seconds for your eyes to get back to darkness. So here I'm just like dry, I'm just riding or somewhere in daylight really. Oh my god, apologies, big tired. Bit tired. That's a big yawn. That's what I'm like when I've done a 12 hour shift, although I was allowed to leave 20 minutes early, so that's always good. And it's a Sunday, so that's great, because it means there's uh, no one on the road. So it's now, what are we on, 12th? 12th of February 2023. We're still here, Putin hasn't nuked us yet. See, there's that tank, no, that's not a tanker, that's a lorry, tanker pulled in, didn't he? So there's a lorry in front, or a flatbed or something. That's where I'm looking, see, I'm looking up there. I can already see there's nothing on the road, and they're on a Tamar bridge. So, they're going to keep it quite clean. And it may even be me that keeps it clean, because um, I've got a job interview there tomorrow. I don't really want to leave my current position, but... I don't want to be put in a dangerous place, which is what's going to happen where I am. Which is horrible, and it's a bit of a change from care work. You know, and I might do it and then think, oh yeah, I like care work. Come on, matey potato. What's he got on there? No, oh, nothing, he's a flatbed. Oh, I've got a right sweaty body. I mean, what's the point of buzzing up his bum now? There isn't one, is there? Funniest thing, if I work there, I know half of these people. Because, obviously being a janner now, not a Cornish boy, being a janner, they all know who I am. Cheers, mate! He's empty, so he's giving it some beans. And again, look, bang, straight back in. Now, there's no white line on the left. There's barely any white line in the middle. So what am I doing? Yeah, I'm following that lorry. Am I sure, but of course I'm not. So now, now you've got a problem. Because now the lines were rubbish back there. So what do you do? Well, you take, you take an average of what you can best see. Yeah? Here I'm all right, but you're getting glared from this because we're coming up a hill. Like that, there we go, look. Look at that glare, because he had his beam on. But I know the road. And this is our turn off, isn't it everyone? So, I hope, I hope those few things have helped you if you've managed to watch it this far, because I bet this is a terrible video, because it's night time. So, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna ride, that's what you gotta deal with. It's exactly what you've got to deal with. And you never know, you may end up being somewhere, enjoying yourself and think, oh, I'll stay on and I'll ride home in the dark. So it might be a bit of a worry for the first time. I mean, I must admit, I had a little scary thing the other day when I left work. I got just outside work and um, I got just outside work and I lost, I lost everything. Yeah, second gear pull off, yeah. Um, I lost all my instrument panel lights. So I lost Taco, Speedo, 
Um, and I lost my um, temperature and my fuel. It just went, vanished, all lights went. Now, miracle of miracles, it was a fuse. So that was quite a handy little repair. Um, but, now we're back into normality. And again, what's the point of rushing? No point of rushing, yeah? Got your manhole, see I already know that manhole's there. Okay, the same on the top here, look. And these are loose ones. But after you got them, you got those things. Now I'm back on the inside. So I suggest if you're going to do your first night ride, do it on somewhere you know. And maybe on a Sunday when it's not too busy, so you're not going to get glared. Oh look, lovely Janerlan. Love my Janerlan. Cornish boy living in exile. Here we go. So, I really do hope someone's at least going to watch this and think, yeah, that's all right. There might be one thing, and if I give you one bit of advice on this little vid, that's great. Manals, picked a lad up last winter. You see this guy on the left? Frightened me, not going to lie, frightened me. But I was on it, I was ready. And just as easy as that, he could have kept coming. This road's terrible. Now, obviously when you're riding on a road like this, look at the potholes. But how fast am I going? Look, 25, not even 25 mile an hour. Best thing is this bit along here, look. Look at that. Look at that, you ready? You ready? Uh, you ready? Oh, oh, look at this. Look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. My goodness me, whoever thought of that, let's go and repair this piece of road. I may even report it, it's getting that bad, look at it. You get stuck in these little ruts, look, and you can't get out. So, and again here, I mean look, at, you're looking here, I've backed right off, I'm looking for debris and shite. A tin can, something like that that could take you out. Which you should be doing as you ride in daylight, but it's doubly bad because you can't see. Even now, look, I can still only see a little bit. And look, you've got a shadow there. I can't see what's in that shadow of that van. Oh, look, a manhole. Ah, there you go, see. There you go, see. There you go. Just like that. Are you still here? Yeah, you're still here. Right, my lovers. Nearly home, now you. Nearly home, right, yeah. Are you local? I am when I'm at home. And there we go, easy as that. Do you know, I do love this bike, but it's worth more in bits, isn't it? And I've got 300 pounds worth of tyres. And I didn't get paid this month by YouTube, which is a bit weird. I thought I got paid every month, but never mind. I've only been paid once, listen to me. <laughs> so, I hope you've liked this video, riding in the dark for 20 minutes, if you've stayed here this long. Hi Volvo, hi Pierce. Good girls. So, and again, look at the state of this road, look, it's pulling the bloody bike everywhere. Again, so take your time, look. Take your time, what's that? Don't know what that was. All right, there's no rush for anything. Oh wait, there you go. Again, mittens, see? Mittens are great, but they're a bit rubbish if you've got to do things. So, my lovely tubers, take care. Make sure you like, subscribe if you've watched it. Let me know if this was any good. Let me know if you have any problems and you want me to try and kill them for you, because I think that might be quite funny. And uh, like, subscribe, share, um, and try and get me a job doing vlogging. And I don't know, really. I, I mean, look at, look at what's on my channel so much weird and wonderful stuff here we go look we're getting behind the van got a little squeak squeak not my boy's dad squeak ba -dum, ba -dum. there's mama's car we we'll slide this one in here shall we oh she ain't got a nighty on 
thought my boy might have put a 90 on this. How close am I to that van? Ah, oh, we're alright. Bang. Okay, my tubers. I love you all. Take care. Be safe. And, uh...